I'm Annalisa Mopio jane um, and I used to swim for Papua New Guinea. I'm from uh, Mekeo in PNG. I was born in Port Moresby um, and then moved to Australia when I was uh, about four. So really funny story in PNG. I was in a canoe and I was thrown into the Kikimunga River <laughs> in a canoe and that's sort of my first uh, taste of swimming <laughs> in crocodile infested waters. Like I remember being scared, but I think, yeah, it sort of set me up um, for my swimming career, realising that I can actually do it if I really put my mind to it and put in the work. I was very fortunate to represent Papua New Guinea at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. 2011 in uh, New Caledonia, I competed in 11 events and I actually got a medal in every single event, which I was incredibly proud of. Um, as well as three Commonwealth Games, uh, 2002 Manchester Commonwealth Games, 2006 Melbourne Commonwealth Games and 2010 Delhi Commonwealth Games. I think it's really important to have a really good support network around you. I was very fortunate to have my parents supporting me. I should like to take all the credit for it because I was a chauffeur and I was a supporter and a head publicity officer and waking up early in the mornings to drive here and all that sort of stuff. So yes, definitely I'd like to get all that credit. I had to support her in whatever she chose to compete in and that was swimming, win, draw, lose or whatever. I always said to her, enjoy yourself and go for your personal best. I definitely think my proudest moment was swimming in the um, 2008 Beijing Olympics. Um, I think I was one of seven athletes that competed um, for PNG at those Olympics. Yeah, I've got a, the picture of like um, holding the PNG flag with my mum, dad, my sister, and my coach at the time. So, very special memory. Like, it just meant so much to me. Like, it, it meant so much to represent my country. Like, for myself, for my family, and for, you know, other PNG girls back home. Like, if I can do it, so can they. Um, and my lifetime best. I swam for another couple of years after that, but that was still the best race I ever did. And incredibly proud to have done it. And even, like, even so many years later, I still know how that feels for me. <laughs> and I'm so happy and proud that I was given that opportunity. Post to my swimming career, I'm a mum of two young boys. I'm a one and a four year old. Um, so life's very different now. It's early mornings, but it's not to get in a pool. <laughs> it's to chase after those two boys. And I'm also studying um, at university at the moment, studying counselling. I really want to give back to those athletes. Just giving those athletes the tools that will help them in their future, not just as an athlete, but as a person as well um, in all areas of their life, because I think it's really important for athletes to have that balance.